Speaking of change, Finland's made some change. Um, Finland, and this is from the Independent, uh, Zoe Tidman. Finland's coalition government will be comprised of five parties, all led by women for the first time after a female transport minister won a vote to be the next leader. So Sana Marin has been chosen by her Social Democratic Party to replace the outgoing prime minister, Antti Rini. Um, she's only 34. Pretty awesome. Um, she will become the world's youngest sitting prime minister in history and the country's third female leader. So there's a lot of progress going on over there in Finland that maybe the U.S. could take note on. Possibly. Possibly. Now, this comes after a bit of an attack on the previous prime minister who stepped down uh, after he lost the support of the key coalition partner center party, citing a lack of mistrust. So a lack of mistrust by the people. You mean a lack of trust. A lack of, I'm sorry, a lack of trust, a, a mistrust by the people. A yeah, lack, no, it's, you guys trust us trust too us much. too much. So but, uh, lack of trust by the people actually led to this, uh, this prime minister stepping down and them progressing and evolving their system. Um, I like that. Sounds like, sounds like something similar to things I've heard lately. Well, I mean, this is exciting, and I'm... I'm you 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 call this progress, and and of course it might not be if if the if the policy is more regressive. I, I know as as gender biased as you may be, you're not so naive as to think any woman in office is better than any man, or that that in and of itself is progress. But there is an important shift. There is a huge element of progress to this that is really tied to to humanity progressing in the United States. It was so funny when, when Hillary was running. And she might be, again, I mean, it, that's, it's crazy. See her on the Howard Stern show recently and, and doing her same thing and, like, looking good, looking, looking not frail at least, you know? Like, hell. who knows? Who knows, what she's, who knows what she's up to? But uh, I think it's something that women in America should be proud of, that there has never been a female U.S. president. Because it is being the leader of a criminal gang. No woman has successfully stooped so low and proven herself to be of such low moral character, of such depravity, to ever be able to be elected. Well, I, I guess Hillary Clinton qualifies. But aside from her, aside from aside her, aside from, from her, her and, and there have been plenty of other truly evil women in American politics, don't get me wrong. Sure. Plenty in Congress right now. Yes, I'm talking primarily about you, Nancy Pelosi, but there are plenty of, of, of well-intentioned women in politics as well, and, and it does represent an important shift that really is tied to libertarianism. And I wish there was a better public understanding of this. And, and I, I, I did a video many years ago called libertarian feminism is better than statist feminism. Sure. And because it's based on not, we're going to use force to force equality, whether it's among races or demographics or genders or, or special uh, classes of people, whatever it is, uh, it's, it's that your gender doesn't, libertarian feminism is, is actually the truest, in the sense, to the definition of feminism, of seeing the genders as equal, because it says you're a human being, you're an independent consciousness in your own body. And that is the source of your rights. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman or whatever it is in between. And that or... gives us as women the right to choose whether or not we want to be the matriarch and stay home and take care of the kids, or if we want to go wear the pants in the family and with every right and to do that. To see that Finland is going through this shift, that's that's pretty exciting. Uh, and and I know that in in a lot of these smaller countries, they have the, the the corruption of government is is a scale less. Than, than what we have in the United States. So I'm, I definitely see this as a positive shift because libertarianism, this progress of humanity towards freedom, is really tied to advancing towards a voluntary society, sure. the, the general awakening. And it's a big part of uh, technology. And just the internal combustion engine by itself was a, a huge empower of women. The gun as an equalizer, as a technology, all of a sudden a 90-pound grandma can defend herself against a 200-pound mugger. Like, that's an equalizing force of technology. The Absolutely. internal combustion engine, in so many ways, industrialization, 
has made men's productive advantage or even defensive value creating advantage being bigger and stronger has become less relevant over time. And what I'm really excited to see is that as we get less government involved, women's value as the creators of life is actually going to be properly valued in society. And we're the only ones to do that, by the way. Yeah. So um, you got to keep that in mind. And at some point, you know, that's, that's going to shift. Because libertarianism, if you think about it, what is, what is libertarianism versus statism? Statism is authority, force. control, force, violence, war, conflict, theft, exploitation. Libertarianism is peace, violence, love, respect, violence. cooperation. Which do you associate typically with male versus female? Yeah, this is, this is, and, and I, you know, I'm, I, I'm not in any way discounting the fundamental value of men in society. I am red pilled. I get it, you know. And and the state disadvantages men more than women. The state is primarily a phenomena of men attacking men, and that's what we're really working at ending. And and it's it's going to be good for all of humanity. And this is a progress to to a better balance between the divine masculine and the divine feminine in in every way. And and yeah, this is what. Well, well, whether I know or like the politicians in Finland and what their socialist, whatever policies might be, I'm excited. This is a, that's a cool story. Adam versus the man is made possible by people who care about freedom, like our Patreon supporters whose monthly contributions get them perks and exclusive content. Find out how you can help by going to patreon.com slash Adam versus the man.